everybody, welcome back to the show. Yesterday we started talking about this concept of being a hypocrite. I love this topic. Monday we spoke about visualization and freedom starting by seeing it. And then as we started to delve into what's going to happen, what happens is you start to grow. And when you start to grow, you start to balance between two conflicting ways of doing things. The old way you did it and the new way you're doing it. And now it's going to feel like you're not fully there yet, right? Because you're trying to build new neuroplasticity. So you have old neuroplasticity, so you're probably going to fall at some point. And if you didn't fall yet, you can probably look to the recent past and say, I did it like that. And you're going to feel like a hypocrite. And this is a great reason to give up. So, or, so your, or so your brain says. You know who else will say it? Your friends that are threatened, that's who will say it. There's always people in our lives that like when we are doing what they're doing. And so as soon as you start to make any changes, they'll make sure you you they you know that they think that you're a hypocrite. You ever have this from people? I think as you get older it slows down. Depends, I guess. Depends how supportive your friends are or your family is. Look at so and so. Look at this. Oh, she's doing this now? Oh, look who he thinks he is. As soon as you start to take changes on in any area, but there are some areas that, you know, sort of tick people tick people off more than others. Right away, there's always someone that's going to point out to you that, I'll relax. I remember you and you. Remember that? You know those people? Now you're so important. Now you're working on... Now you're doing... Now you think you're doing? There's always... Not always, but many times in life, there are those that just seem to never want others to grow past them. It's an insecurity. People like to feel like they are good. And when someone else who was once like them in an area starts to show growth or improvement or enhancement, their inclination is to bring you back to where you once were, which will then bring them back to feeling good. It happens in a lot of areas. The comments, the remarks about people that are not like them it's all it's not it's not real it's just insecurities once you see it for what it is a if you still do it you'll stop if you find yourself trying to remind the person around you who is growing in any particular area about who they were or mocking their growth hopefully you'll see that this is just your insecurity and if someone does it to you, you won't actually take their words as knocks because it's just their insecurity. People sometimes don't know how to be happy for others. They feel threatened by them. It takes place when it comes to health. Look who's eating healthy. Oh, now you're running? You know how old you are? You know how young you are? You know, oh, yeah, oh now you it comes to taking care of yourself it comes to religion big time big time it comes in a lot of different ways the hypocrite pointing out that somebody else is doing something that is hypocritical is a is a clue to their own insecurities you see, when your brain does it to you, it doesn't know better. It just doesn't know who you are. It doesn't want you to work hard. Remember, your brain doesn't want you to work hard. Your brain is built to survive. Survival requires the, um, the accumulation of energy, not the expending of energy. Right? If your brain would rather you not exert yourself so that it has energy in store in case it needs it to survive. 
that's why it's hard to think when it's late or when you have two different cognitions. It's you never want to get off the couch. Your your body, your brain. Remember, survival is how you're built. Greatness is what you have to choose. So, in the survival mode, at any given moment, it's better to to save energy than spend energy because you never know when you need energy. So your brain will always tell you to save. So when you're doing anything that's different, you'll always have that brain saying, whoa, easy, easy. Because it'll have so much neuroplasticity of yesterday in it that it will turn to and look to as what feels normal to it. It feels normal to do these things because I've done them for the past X amount of years. And when you do something new, your brain's like, whoa, whoa, this is more effort and it doesn't feel like us? Like, what are we doing over here? What what am I going to say to get you to stop? Oh, I got one. You're a hypocrite. Or it'll never work. Or it's not you. Those are the stuff we buy. And your brain's like, we win. It's like, you know, it's it's fist pumping, you know, the it, itself going, we, we rock this. Now we're back on the couch. Like, great work. Just a minute ago, we got, just a minute ago, we had to like do new stuff and new rituals and learn new stuff. Are you kidding me? You know how much thinking that is? I can't use that. I can't use, we can't use the brain this much. I'm going to be exhausted. What if we need it to survive? You're getting up, you're doing this, it's early in the morning, you're waking up before we usually get up early in the morning, you're doing, you're praying, you're studying, you're, you're jogging, what, what, what are you kidding me? Like, who, who's, who approved this behavior? No, 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 this is going to expend too much energy, I got it, you're a hypocrite. Look, this feels more natural to not, and you go, yeah, yeah, it makes sense. That's why your brain does it. Someone else does it because subconsciously they're going, oh, shoot. If you're doing it, I should be doing it, but I don't want to do it. Now, but if you're doing it, I got to watch you do it? And I got to feel guilty about myself? No, nah, I don't want to do that. I like the way I eat. I don't want to have to, like, worry. About, oh, man, I don't want to have to, like, eat differently now. I don't have to speak differently now. I liked doing what I was doing. You're now growing you're changing your life. You're taking on new stuff. You're trying to grow. You're trying to be better. I mean, I got to try to grow. I'm trying to be better. But I don't want to grow. But I don't want to feel guilty. So what am I going to do? I know. I know. I got this. You're a hypocrite. Oh, that's never going to work. That's not who you are. I know who you are. Sometimes I see this with somebody. This happens a lot of times when it comes to like religious stuff. Somebody tries to grow and change. And always someone's like, oh, do me a favor. Do me a favor. What does that mean, do me a favor? Every day of your life should be a brand new day. Every day in your life you should try to be a better person. Every day in your life you try to grow in depth and spirituality. Every day in your life is a day to take on the world and recreate yourself. And Yeah, you could fail, sure. I remember when I was younger, I would... I remember I'd go to these the, the older guys who are probably my age now, <laughs> but back then they seemed older than I feel. With all my these ideas and oh, these ideas that I wanted to do for the community, for the world, and I remember like some guy, nah, it's not gonna work. Trust me, trust me. You're young. Trust me, it's not gonna work. And I remember hearing it and hearing it and hearing it and hearing it. I don't think they knew. Now, I think they were doing it to like protect me and prevent me from wasting my time, but I think deep down they were doing it because at least some of them at least because they're not that guy anymore. They're not young. They're not idealistic. They don't dream. And so when someone does, it's it's a little annoying. It's a little much. When you calm down, relax, come back to my land. Come back to being a little more conservative in my thinking or pessimistic. Come back to that. Come back to that. I feel much better about myself and my choices if you're not interested in doing anything crazy. Beware of the hypocrite of the hypocrite excuse, not only in your mind, but in the world around you. 
I'm not saying do things that are dumb. I'm not saying act without thinking. I'm saying beware. When you've got stuff that you want to do or things you want to grow to or things you want to become and there's something around you telling you, well, it's not who you were. The answer is you're right, but it don't matter. All right, we'll talk about this. A lot of dreams that have been crushed because of one's mind or because of one's surroundings. It's a shame because it blocks us from accessing our infinite energy that's within us. All right, everybody, have a great day. The answer is you are a hypocrite, but it's okay. That's how you grow. Embrace the hypocrite. Have an amazing day. With God's help, I cannot wait to see you again mañana. Have a great day. Living on a lifeline The world doesn't ever seem to change Looking for the sunshine But you're caught up in the rain It's like your eyes Are wide open but you cannot see You're watching life Pass you by like one, two, three Walking in destruction The winds of life Blur your vision All the devastation Forever feels like you're on the run It's time no one else can set you free, you're locked inside And only you have got the key